Kenneth G. Hasty Raw in three, two, one. Hello everybody, Kenneth G. Hasty here, back again with my series of videos to help business owners and salespeople to get more sales and to grow your business and be more successful. So today's topic is called discounting is a losing battle. You know, it's funny, I've been in sales and sales management for a long time, and especially in the sales management side, almost always salespeople want it to be cheaper. They want to be able to give a bigger discount. Everybody will buy it if it's less, you know. And, and it's actually kind of amazing when you, when you think about it. Oftentimes, price isn't what's on the customer's mind. But the salesperson, it's on their mind. So they're like, if I, if I could only be cheaper, I, I'd, I'd sell more. And part of that's a confidence issue for sure. Part of that is a lack of the ability to uh, put an adequate value proposition out there for your product. But let's just talk about the discounting side in general. Let's just think about it in, in just for a minute. Let's say you get a 40% profit margin in your business. So for every $100, you make 40. And so now you say, man, I, I, I'm going to offer a discount. I'm, I'm going to offer 20% discount. More people will buy my stuff if I offer a 20% discount. But the problem is you just cut your profit in half. So now, when you would have sold $1,000 to make 400, now you've got to sell $2,000 to make 400. So you have to sell twice as much to get the same benefit as if you were selling it without the 20% discount. So keep that in mind. I made that mistake when I first went independent in selling years ago and I went to the top customers and I wanted to make sure that I, that I kept them, that they were, you know, that they wanted to stick with me and I, I was going to take care of them. I was their guy, you know. So I, I, I signed them off with a blanket 20% discount and that cost me dearly. When I, when I looked later, it's like, I, not only did I discount 20%, I discounted my top customers 20%. So if 80, let's say 80% of my business was now discounted 20%. So I had to make a whole lot more sales just to break even to where I would have been. So discounting is a losing proposition. There's always somebody cheaper. And no matter how cheap you go, there's always somebody that can go cheaper. So once you go on that downward spiral, it can take you down. It's better to hold your price or hold close to your price what the market will bear and have a product or be able to present your product in such a manner that people see the value in it and that they want to buy it. So remember, discounting is not the answer. Find a better way. All right, so that's it for today. Discounting is a losing battle. Quit discounting. Thank you. Talk to you next time. Bye.